Welcome to the Messy Mind Podcast, a show to support you in seeing that messiness can lead to your light bulb moments. I'm your host, Tammy L. Davis. Those who are really close to me and who I trust tell me all the time, Tammy, you don't share enough about what you're doing, what you've created, what you've developed. Here's my opportunity now to break out of my comfort zone and share why I wrote a book. I know your eyes have bulged out. I have written a book and very few people know about it. The time in which it took me to write the book, the individual who supported me with putting it all together, she was my virtual assistant at the time, and I'm really proud of it. It's an ebook, it's short, it's sweet. And I just wanted to share why I wrote The Hidden Secrets of Master Communicators. I believe in the transformative power of communication. And you know why? Because my life took a 180 degree turn based on better communication. Yes, my undergraduate degree is in communication from George Mason University, go Patriots. However, that didn't mean a thing when it came to when I wanted better relationships and better connections across the board. This book, this ebook, it's not just an ebook. It's really a toolkit for creating better connections, better relationships, and truly achieving your goals. I've seen these strategies change lives. It changed my life. And I decided that I didn't want this part of my life to be a secret anymore. I didn't want to keep them to myself. I wanted to share what did I do to support me in becoming a better communicator, a better listener, just a better person who knows how to be in a relationship. It's about helping you the way I was helped and helped myself and and scour through so many videos and trainings and leadership conferences and books and tips in order to help myself. Now I want to help you become the best communicator you can be and have the relationships and connections you deeply desire. Now, throughout this short ebook, I've included tips and suggestions that supported me again, along with several personal stories on how I completely shifted my communication foundation to the core. What I've decided to do in this episode is share one of the chapters of the book. Maybe I might switch it to an audio book. I don't know. Right now, it's downloadable. I'll put the link in the show notes. I'm here to share and I want to give you insight on why I wrote this book and make sure you don't skip forward. Listen to the first chapter, chapter one of The Hidden Secrets of Master Communicators. I hope you enjoy. Chapter one, what is conversation and communication? The Microsoft Encarta Dictionary defines conversation as a casual talk the activity of talking, especially informally. It sounds so easy, yet many people do it wrong, a bit unknowingly. Still, conversating is so dreadful for others that it is enough to leave their insides, not to mention their tongues, in knots. Story time. I was working on a transformation initiative for a large company in California. And part of the initiative involved going to different departments in a city to talk about the implementation. At one of the stops, which was in a large conference center, I was responsible for giving a speech about the financial requirements for future business processes. Even though I had been a communication major and had given many impromptu speeches in class, I had never done this before and was terrified. Here, I was on stage in this huge conference center with my process flow in hand being broadcast onto a giant projector on the wall. I wanted to say I was all confident, but in reality, I was surprised I didn't poop my pants. Communication is a natural and very essential part of life. Even animals do it. 
Humans, however, have evolved from the grunting and moaning of our prehistoric ancestors to the complex speech patterns and individual nuances of today's many languages. Along with that evolution came deterioration eventually. Indeed, the quality of conversation these days is nothing compared to the so-called verbal joust, healthy, lively banter among peers and strangers alike. Indeed, a French Renaissance writer thought of conversation as the most fruitful and natural exercise of our mind. So why the seeming decline? Many of our present day conflicts stem from miscommunication or a lack of communication. When we consider a person's culture, circumstances, and state of mind when verbalizing our thoughts or feelings, what may be harmless to some can be pretty offensive to others. For instance, someone else may consider a joke that you find hilarious in bad taste. When a supervisor barks an order, you may take it personally and become upset or assume they're having a bad day. Today's fast-paced, technologically advanced, emotionally detached lifestyle also plays a massive part in this misunderstanding and a decline of quality conversation. Because there is an overabundance of high tech, though in personal ways of communicating, texting, email, instant messaging, face-to-face -face discussion has been rendered practically obsolete or if not, it is primarily deemed an inconvenience. Really, why talk in person when all it takes is a few clicks or keypad presses to state your message? Because of this, many people have lost touch with that human connection that was once an eight in all of us. Perhaps it is time to reclaim it. In recent years, emphasis has slowly shifted from IQ or intellectual quotients to EQ or emotional quotients as the greater barometer for just how successful a person becomes. In almost all jobs, having the right people skills is one of the most four most requirements expected of applicants. At the heart of these people skills is an above average aptitude for communication. The master communicator, therefore, is the one who can express themselves with more clarity and precision. The one who can relate to clients and co-workers alike with equal ease and confidence. The one the boss turns to to get things done. In short, if you are a master communicator, you are a winner and a leader, and not only in the workplace, but also in life. Being a huge success, however, cannot be achieved alone. You'll need all the support you can get, and this is where communication comes in. Communication skills are so critical that they are now a part of all major business schools NBA curricula. Special courses on communication, public speaking, speech power, or legion, and the fact that you must pay good money to enroll in these courses and learn all about the basics of communication is a testament to its importance and indispensability. Unless you are a hermit completely cut off from all human contact, you won't be able to survive without communication. Indeed, communication has ballooned into a multi-billion dollar industry, and today we are connected in ways that people a mere generation ago would have never imagined. Mobile phones, video conferencing, the internet, the possibilities are endless. However, as stated earlier, as advanced as these modern devices and systems are, they have made face-to-face -face communication and personal correspondence much rarer and more precious. Do you remember the last time you wrote a handwritten letter and mailed it the old-fashioned way? How about the meetings at the office or via Zoom? Was there ever a time you did not think they were a complete waste of time when an email would be more practical or efficient? The capacity to converse and communicate is an invaluable skill that, though currently overlooked for more technological means, will always remain strong. 
After reading this ebook along with time and practice, you can become a master communicator and a great conversationalist. Thank you for joining us this time on the Messy Mind Podcast. Please visit our website at themessymindpod.com. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate a rating on Apple Podcast or simply tell a friend about the show. Always remember to embrace the messiness. It can lead to your light bulb moments.